Mushroom Wonderland. In reflecting on whether one should cut or pluck, I think you're going to go around in circles uh, because there's all kinds of different opinions and there are some special circumstances. But in general, I don't think it makes a load of difference whether you cut or pluck. I generally prefer to cut my mushrooms off at ground level, mainly because it makes it much easier to bring them home and clean them in the kitchen later without having a lot of dirt and forest debris to, to deal with. Now, of course, if you're cutting the mushrooms at ground level and you're dealing with gilled mushrooms, you've got to make bloody well sure that you know what ammonitis look like and you aren't cutting ammonitis off at the base and missing the vulva in the ground and getting yourself in trouble as a result of eating a cut mushroom. Now, eating cut chanterelles has a, has an advantage. It doesn't seem to matter long term whether you cut or pluck them, but on the short term, sometimes if you just cut them, there'll be a little nubbin at the base of the stem that's left in the ground, and that will grow another chanterelle that season. So you can get more chanterelles in a given season sometimes just by cutting them. I really love it when somebody has cut their king bolets off right at ground level because if I find where they've done that within a day or two, I can get my favorite part of the bolete, the very base of the stem, and I pluck that from the ground and eat that. And sometimes I've been able to fill a shopping bag or two full of just stem bases even though someone has beaten me to the patch. So having people that only cut uh, can be an advantage in something like a king bolete. Now, if you're picking a cauliflower mushroom, you want to make very sure that you leave the stem intact. So you cut it off right at the base of that big lump of cauliflower. And you're much more likely to have that thing refruit again and again, year after year, as long as you leave the stem behind. So in that case, it makes a significant difference. Now, when you're talking about a matsutake, I don't like to reach down and dig it out. But you also don't want to cut it off because a lot of the value lies in that in that getting the whole matsutake. So I grab those from the very top of the cap and just put my fingers on the top and rotate it in circles for a while until it gets loose from the soil and then I can pull it straight up and I don't have to put any implements in the ground and disturb the mycelium and then that will preserve the production for in the future. And the one thing that I'd be really clear on is you do not want to rake for mushrooms. If you're after truffles, you're going to wind up raking mostly immature truffles, and you're going to ruin it for future harvest. So by using a dog to harvest truffles, you can come back to the same patch in season every four to five days and get more truffles. But if you raked it, you've wiped it out probably for the rest of the season. Similarly, uh, with, with king bolites. Uh, you can return to a king bolete patch every single day and have new prime boletes as long as you don't rake the ground. So those are my reflections on cut versus trim. Good luck. Have fun in the woods. Bye-bye.